Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video, we're going to go over how to have uh, two different functions basically on a pop-up. As you see, the inspiration came from this page right here. And when you go for your exit intent, it does one thing. It's got a little header up here at the top, some text, but then it basically is directing you to go to these different places here, Amazon, etc., in order to be able to buy this book. Or on this page, what you can do is you can click on the button right here and it opens up the pop-up again. But in this pop-up here, it has an order form on the page. So the first thing I will tell you is when you're building this, make sure you use an order form page type because when I built my example, I grabbed the wrong page type and I thought, well, it doesn't really matter. Just, just make sure you get the right page type if you want to put in an order form. So let me show you my version of this right here. And let me just reload it real quick just to make sure it is working properly. So now what we do on exit intent, we're going to see a header, some text and then some images down here and I made the two on the right clickable and that would simulate again what they had over here on their exit intent where you go off to Amazon or wherever to purchase something. But then if we kill this here, we can then also click on our button and that gives us a totally different content inside of our pop-up at that time. So how we have to build this is actually pretty simple. It uh, took me a little bit to figure it out, but I'd done this before. I just uh, I was having a little bit of problem with getting one to hide after it had already showed. That was the toughest part of doing this. But let's come in here and we first off we have to put a section on this page and I called this pop-up section. So we will unhide that and let's just take a look at it. Let's look at the uh, data title right here. So it's pop-up section right there. And again, make this look like however you want. Like I said, in the case of what Daryl had there, he had an order form in here. So you want to make sure you use an order form page type. So that's all you got to do is somewhere on this page, build out this section that you want inserted into the pop-up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hide that on the page. Then also on the buttons on the page, you want those all set to open the pop-up. So all of them set to open the pop-up. That's the second thing you got to do now on your pop-up itself. This is where you want them to go on exit intent. So this is for exit intent. The other one we built as a separate section here. That's for purchasing or collecting an email or whatever you want to use it for. So this is your exit intent here to get them to go off, in this case, to Amazon or wherever to buy the book. And so we set this up like you would just about anything else. We got a couple of rows in here. So let's just open up our rows. And every single one of these rows I gave up or I gave them the data title of pop-up row because we want to be able to target them so that we can hide them uh, when, we show, when we show the order form or the other part, the section that we created on the page. When we show that, we want to make sure we can target these rows and hide them each time. And so all three of these rows in here are named exactly the same thing on the data title. And if we go to our settings, you can make this thing any size you want. You can change your backdrop colors, you know, all that stuff, style it however you want. But then you just want to make sure that we say here, uh, show when user tries to exit. And so make sure that is set. That way on exit intent, it will pop up onto the screen. And so when you do that, as you saw over here, again, just to refresh your memory, when you exit out, you see this version of it. When you click on the link, you see this version, which is again, the hidden section on the page. So the code itself is right in here. And let me widen this out a little bit. Let me put in a little bit of spacing in here just so we can break things up a bit, make it a little easier to read. And so what we're saying here is that pop-up section that we built down at the bottom, all we're saying is insert this after the container modal container inner and then hide it. So when the page loads, we want to take that section that was down here and we want to put it into the uh, container modal itself. So let me show you what that looks like. Let me just open this up and we will inspect this page. 
and we will come in here and let me just click here. So here we got our container modal. So let me see what we said again here. Container modal, container inner. So we're going to insert it after that. So we have here, here is our container modal is right up here at the top. This is our container modal. Here's our container inner. And then right here is where that section gets put in there. So here it is right there, pop-up section. So all we're doing is we're just saying insert this section after this existing container inner element. So it just gets put in there and it will stay in there the whole time. Then we just have to say, do we want to hide it or show it? And in this case here, we said to hide it at first. And now what we're going to say here is on the pop-up button. So when somebody clicks on the button on the page. So this button here, I gave a data title of pop-up button. We come right here, we can see that it has a data title of pop-up button on it. And we close this out and how you do that again, click here, go to your hashtag pop-up button, make sure you hit update to save it. And let's go back into our tracking code. Open this back up a little bit. Okay, so when somebody clicks on any one of those buttons, you could have 10 of those buttons on the page. Just make sure they all get the data title of pop-up button. And then what we're going to say here is pop-up section show. So that hidden, hidden section that we had that we just now inserted into the pop-up, we're going to show that. And then all the existing pop-up rows that were in there, that, that's why we gave them all the exact same data title. We're saying, okay, hide all those. So just show us the part we want to see when we click the button, hide the stuff we don't want to see. Then what we're going to have is, and, and as you saw here, when I set up the pop-up, let me just show that to you again. When we set up the pop-up, the native state that we want it to be in is for the exit intent. So if somebody comes in and they immediately go for an exit intent, we want this to pop up on the screen. We don't want to have to do anything else. The section gets put in here on page load, but it's hidden so we don't have to worry about it. So we want to see this right away if somebody exits. But then what we want is, see, this can only be activated one time. It can only get exit intent one time. So once this is open and we have the exit intent, we saw this stuff here. If they don't leave the page, let's say they click over here into the background or they click on the X, either one will do this. It will hide it. And what it'll do then is the next time this thing pops up, it will show the pop-up section. And so that's exactly what it says here is... Once somebody clicks either the X or the background, what we want to do is we want to show the, um, we want to, let me see here. Okay, what I was saying was correct, but I had to pause there for a second because I was kind of saying it backwards. Because it, you can only exit one time, and we want it to show them, of course, the pop-up rows when they exit. But in this case here, what the second bit of code does is it says, if they came in and they clicked on the button, they clicked on the button first, all of this would be showing in here. So the pop-up section would be showing inside of the pop-up and the pop-up rows would be hidden. And so what we're saying here then is if somebody then clicks outside of that and closes it after having clicked on the pop-up button, then we want that to switch that. We want it to show the pop-up section and we want it to, I'm oh, sorry, we want it to hide the pop-up section and we want it to show the pop-up row because the next thing after somebody clicks on the button, they can do one of two things. They can either exit or they can click the button again. So we can go off the page or we can click the button again. Well, we already have a set here so that if you click the button, we know that it's going to show the section and hide the rows. We want it set back to its original state, and that's what this does here. This sets it back to its original state in case it had been changed by clicking on here. This sets it back to the original so that upon exit intent, then we will still see exactly what we want to be seeing on the page. So I hope that wasn't too confusing, but you can see in the code here exactly what to do. Just make sure you name your, your elements with the proper data titles. Copy out this code. I will make it a little bit wider again here for you to see because it says hide here at the end. And that's it. Just copy that. Set up all of your elements and you should be ready to go. So if you got any questions, just let me know.